Okay, we have another example where we have the second derivative. Uh, second derivative of y minus y is equal to zero, uh, sorry, equal to two, where y zero is equal to y prime of zero equals zero. So the initial conditions are both zero and we have this differential equation. Step one, take the Laplace transform and we know that the second derivative of y, so the Laplace transform of the second derivative of y is equal to s squared uh, y of s um, and I'll just write y minus s times y zero minus y prime zero and these are both zero so we can write this slightly more easily and that is just this so if we use the initial conditions we are simply left with that the Laplace transform of minus y is minus capital Y and the Laplace transform of 2 is 2 over s. Now if we take this all together uh, we get that s squared times y minus y is equal to 2 over s. Now we need to rewrite this so that we isolate y. Well, we rewrite this as s squared minus 1 times y is equal to 2 over s, which means that y is equal to 2 over s times s minus 1 squared. So this is step 2. Uh, the next step is to take the inverse Laplace transform and write out the solution, but we can't quite get there uh, in one go. We will have to use partial fraction expansion to do this. Well, I can rewrite y um, as uh, in terms of its partial fractions, uh, where we know that s minus 1 squared is s minus 1 times s plus 1. So we'll rewrite this as some a over s plus b over s plus 1 plus c over s minus 1. And by multiplying all these again, we will have, um, uh, we can calculate, sorry, by making the common denominator here and uh, solving the uh, e equation here, we can find a, b, and c. I won't do that here. I will just write the uh, results, which is minus 2 over s plus 1 over s minus 1 plus 1 over s plus 1. And, um, and now we can take the Lap uh, inverse Laplace transform. So step 3, the function we were after, y of t, is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of y is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of minus 2 over s plus 1 over s minus 1 plus 1 over s plus 1. And we, because this is a linear, uh, uh, the inverse Laplace form is a linear operator, this is equal to the inverse, actually, minus 2 times the inverse of the Laplace transform of 1 over s plus the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s minus 1 plus the inverse of the uh, inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1 and what we get is that the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s is 1 so here we get minus 2 times 1 so minus 2 this one will yield um, e to the power of 1 times t um, plus e to the power of minus 1 times t and we have our solution for y. Um, so now, now we have solved this differential equation.